Welcome to another segment on the History of the Badger Midget Series. I want to thank everybody that tuned in for the first one on the inaugural 1936 season. Thanks for all the great comments. We hope to do probably two or three more of these before we kick off the 2020 season, and then we'll uh, try to nail a couple in the off season also. So recently I was sorting pictures downstairs on a table, Badger photos by size to categorize them and put them together and my daughter asked me a bunch of questions about them and I thought this might be a, a good segment number two. I left her alone, didn't coach her. I told her to pick out 50 pictures, black and white, color, different sizes and we got a stack of them. I haven't seen them. I'm going to do a 15 second uh, tutorial on each picture, seeing them for the first time. Hopefully there's a lot of good descriptions on the back because I do remember some things, but not everything. So hopefully you enjoy 50 Badger pictures from the beginning to about 2010 because after that everything's pretty much on a digital file. So here we go. 1965 Badger Midgets at the Milwaukee Mile. This is a publicity shot with Dick Winder, driver, and a Badger representative and a representative from Miller High Life outside of corner number one of the track. Badger Midget Banquet. Champions Keith Thomas, Paul Kruger, and Rookie of the Year Ron File from 1965. Gotta love the trophies, and everybody really dressed classy with suits back then. June 1976, Doug Schenk on the inside on the bottom. Finally retired last year, racing against Tim Pangborn. Here's a 1974. Four photo uh, at uh, Hills Corner Speedway. Frank Filsko getting turned on the front straightaway. Pangborn and Gary Schooley going by him. Bob Dretzka's famous outboard number eight car crashed by Chuck Dan. We can see Chuck Dan right there looking at the car. Unfortunately, I don't know any other details of the incident. Also, Hills Corner Speedway, Shep's triple dip. Modified winner, Peter Strowski, Dale Peterson, IRA Sprint Car winner, Dan Boris, the Badger Midget Feature winner, and everybody's favorite promoter, Jerry Olson. Told Kaylee not to pick too many of with me. This is June in 1989, National Halibrand uh, car, Dean Billings, the Badger Midget Feature winner, Dean Billings, Rod Eschenberg, an engineer with the company from San Diego, Ken Weevil, president of National, and myself. Great competitor with Badger and a former president of Badger, Dwayne Hansen. Not sure exactly the year. I believe it's probably about 1951. 1961 picture of Matt Tagg, who would later become a Badger Midget Champion six years later. Great uh, pole shot, Armin Krieger. I also want to thank some of the great Badger photographers. Photos in my file, Armin Krieger, Greenfield Gallery the late Jim Remington, the late John Cozy, and Dave Olson from uh, Studio 360 Speed Graphics. Great pictures of him and longtime Angel Park photographer Bob Cruz. Fritz Kutner's car, Danny Boris's grandfather with Bob Walden. They later went on to win the championship a couple years later, but really the cool part of this picture is the background, the pits, the trees, the grandstands at Angel Park Speedway. Keith Thomas and Paul Kruger's Dairy Cool Car. This is 1965. The backbone of Badger for years has been the consummate midget driver to just wanted to race Badger and midgets and have fun. This is Jim Sharmer who won a couple of Badger features in his career. This is a 1959 post photo. Gary the Kid Schooley from Iowa, longtime competitor with Badger. Really a great guy. He also uh, was, a, after retiring, a longtime fan. Recently passed away about four or five years ago. Ran for a couple of years. This is 1953. Marty Steiner competed with the Badger Midgets for a couple of years. This is actually a photo that Keith Thomas gave to me several years ago. He won the first Corn Fest in 1953. We honored him as a Grand Marshal a couple years ago. Before the night started, he's like, I found a picture and I made you a copy. This is when I won the first ever Corn Fest. So pretty cool picture. 
first ever laps of Dan Fredenberg before his rookie season at, uh, at a track I'm not totally sure. 1972 could be any one of three victories. We see driver Todd Barton, also known as Owen Schneider. He's driving a Mike Casio car. Mike Casio, a great friend of mine. We also see the starter at the time, Harvey Conkle, and uh, President Ron File at the time, also in the victory lane. Kenny Gottwein, 1967 photo. More known for his modified and stock cars. Ran midgets for a while. He owned a great popular restaurant that's still open. If you're ever in Milwaukee, it's in Wauwatosa on about 68th or 64th and uh, North Avenue. It's called Ted's Ice Cream. Dodger Midget Banquet, 1969 Rookie of the Year, Joe Krautkramer accepting his award from Dwayne Hansen in the background. 1961 Badger Rookie of the Year, Dale Dable. Gotta love this photo. Just like the picture and, and the suits that everybody wore back then. This is the Bill and Harold Rip owned car. Don't know much about John Filer. He ran for a season or two. Johnny Smellick, he ran back in the 40s for a couple seasons, and then his son later ran Badger for two seasons in 1968 and 69. We'll move to a few smaller photos. The Wilkie Racers entry, Carrie Foss, the popular Californian, first time ever at Sun Prairie. Took them, schooled them, cleaned house, won the feature. Popular driver, Brad Weber. You can see who popular photo Kevin Doty, the roar of victory in victory lane. Kevin Doty on the all time top five win list at Angel Park Speedway. Here's an interesting one it's either 1948 or 49, the first two years of Slinger Speedway, now known for a pavement, fast pavement quarter mile track, was when it was built by Miles Mealis and Billy Johnson. They ran midgets there the first two years exclusively. Missed this guy. He was a definite consummate professional, four-time Badger champion, Brad Kuhn. He's now retired, living a great life with his family in Indiana. Veteran driver C.L. Smith in this 1982 photo. Not the best photo of Greg Nelson in 1983. Cars pushing up over the cushion. He cleaned house, dominated, won uh, five features on his way to the Badger championship. Great action shot you can see here. I see Aaron Fiskus, Jeff Flesher, Kurt Mayhew, and a few others. 1980, 1998 feature winner photo before the Pepsi Nationals. Almost all the winners were there. I believe one or two guys were missing. 1998 Badger season opener. Myself interviewing feature winner Dan Boris. Brandon Welty and... His sponsor, Nick Conrad, in a 2000 Victory Lane photo at Angel Park. Not sure of what 1993 photo this is, but it's Paige Jones in the Keith and Rusty Coons car. Badger President Quinn McCabe on the gas in 2003. 1992, his first feature win at Angel Park Speedway, Scott Hatton holding his young one-year-old daughter, Carissa. This is one of my favorite photos. It's a Dave Olson photo. We see the 50 of Kevin Doty, the 55 of Steve Knepper, the 88 of Dan Boris. There's three huge Hall of Famers. On the gas, Joe Corrigan, 1984 at Wilmont Speedway. Pat Schultes, who ran with Badger, his father was president for 1983 season. KO Kevin Olson won a Badger feature driving for Ed Shefshek out of Washington. Stevie Reeves in a Wilkie car battling Don Tyler in 1991 action. Here's Don Boris and Kevin Doty after winning the Rich Vogler All-Star Race. Kevin Olson in the Wilkie car battling Kevin Doty in 1988 action. They ran 1-2 in points. 
1973 Badger champion John Hartwig. Still doing good, living out in Johnson Creek. Talked to him during the pandemic recently. He's a regular fan at all the Angel Park races. Eddie Loomis collected a $500 bonus for winning a, with a non-Volkswagen engine in 1985. Almost done here, folks. It's 1939 Badger champion Whitey Bierster at Manitowoc Speedway in 1941. Classic Dave Olson photo, no guardrail and no backstretch wall signs. It's the 81 of Dean Erfurth leading the 41 of Kevin Cook in 1985 Badger action. And our final photo, great racing family, good friends of mine, Don Tyler, after winning the 1991 Memorial Day 50 lapper, we can see Roger Corrigan, Lyle Corrigan in the background, and also way over on the one side, Mechanic T.J. Patrick. Well, hopefully everybody enjoyed this segment. We'll be back with one towards the end of next week. And uh, please excuse the noise from the kids. Great job by Kaylee, my cameraman. <laughs>